to introduce to you my friend and the 45th President of the United States, President Donald Trump. Men's traveled north to hear the President speak, and boy did they dress the part. I must have had maybe uh, 50 to 100 selfies today, and I would do it again all over again tomorrow. Trump has brought the American people, the forgotten American people, forgotten out of the ashes, from the ashes, like the Phoenix. Maynard Nick Blanchard was so enthusiastic about seeing Trump, he drove down here and slipped outside last night. Came down overnight, got here about 11.30 last night. Trying to overbear the rain, that was the toughest part. We kind of built, because they wouldn't let us have a canopy this time, so we just, you know, built a little tarp and just sat there and hung out and enjoyed everybody's company. Trump support us from... But our new slogan, when we start running in, can you believe, two years from now, is going to be... Keep America great! Exclamation point. Keep America great. How great, how great are they? How great are they? I, I turn on my television one night, and I see these two on television. I say, they are the greatest. What is it? They became an internet sensation. I hope you've uh, monetized it a little bit. Right? You want to do a little routine? Come look, on, go look, ahead. Well, first of all, I'm glad that the media can see us and all. See them? There they go. There they go. I see them. I see them. I want everybody to know yes. that we stand behind Donald J. Trump. Yes, we do, baby. <laughs> How good, how good. What people. What great people. Okay, let's take another. Well, I want to thank you very much. We're here with some of uh, the black leaders of our country and uh, people that are highly respected and people that have done a fantastic job and for the most part have been working on this whole situation with me right from the beginning yeah. yes. and we've done a lot we've done opportunity zones we've done criminal justice reform yeah. we've mm -hmm. done things that people didn't even think possible criminal justice reform we've let a lot of great people out of out of jail yeah. 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 Johnson is really a, just such a great example, a fine woman, and she doesn't say she didn't know she made a mistake. But she was in there for 22 years when we let her out, and uh, she had practically another 20 left. She did. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, no.
not appropriate. Her children grew up, her grandbabies. Yeah, no, yeah. so incredible. Wow. And you couldn't produce, there's nobody in, in Hollywood that could have produced that last scene of her. That was the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Her when she saw her kids. Yeah. Amen. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So it's really a fantastic thing. So what I think I do is I'd like to, for the media, I'd like to go around mm -hmm. the room and we can do just a quick introduction of each other. And uh, I'll start with me. My name is Donald John. <laughs> <laughs> times and you've been seeing the polls the polls have been incredible yes. we've had some polls with uh, and I could say black I could say african-american right. I could say Same. both yes. I'll tell you what the polls are, are at a level that people have never I don't think they've seen in terms no. of Republican mm -hmm. and I won't be satisfied mm -hmm. until I get 100% because nobody has awesome. more for right. black people. Awesome. We've been in this together, and, and uh, what we've accomplished for black people, for the country, yes, for that's, right. Yes, right. that's right, has been uh, unprecedented, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Terrence, please. Well, I'm comedian Terrence K. Williams, <laughs> and I am sitting next to the greatest president since <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Angela Stanton King, founder of American King Foundation, recently pardoned by the greatest president yeah. ever. Scott, Cleveland, Ohio, New Spirit Revival Center, Black Voices for Trump, Urban Revitalization Coalition. I'm a Johnny come lately here, but I believe in what this guy's doing. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, I'm Andre Berto, two-time world champion. I'm here with my man Jack Bruce, yeah. support Trump, and uh, here to make great things happen. Great. He's a great fighter. Great fighter. <laughs> I didn't see you down there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, it's an honor. You truly are the best president since Abraham Lincoln. Thank you. My name is Mark Little. I'm the chairman of the board of the Center for Urban Renewal and Education, run by Star Parker, and it's an honor to be with each and every one of you. Thank you, Mayor. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Scott Turner, and I serve as the Executive Director for the White House Opportunity and Revitalization Council. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Rob Smith. I'm America's favorite black gay Republican. <laughs> <laughs> I, came, I had my second coming out a couple of years ago in support of this administration and all the amazing things that happened. So, Mr. President, I'd like to thank you for having me. Thank this. you very much. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you. Rollins, I have the amazing honor and blessing of serving this president now for two years and focusing on forgotten communities and communities that have never had a shot at the American dream until this man was elected president mm -hmm. of the United States. So it continues Thank to you, be Thank my you, greatest honor. Thank you. Thank you. These you. are amazing <clears throat> Morelli. I'm with Black Voices for Trump and Women for Trump, and I just want to say I've taken a lot of arrows for you, yeah. but I am proud to do it because I appreciate everything you have done for the country. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thank you. My name is Jared Kushner. I know all of you here, and I just want to thank you all. Uh, I, tell my, I tell the president all the time how proud I am of the job he's doing, but I want to tell all of you that I'm very proud of you. You've been great partners of this White House. You've come with ideas. You've come with suggestions. And every time I bring these ideas to the president, he always says, if these are the things that need to get done, let's do it. Let's spare the resource. Let's get it done. And what we've done together is we found pathways to really revitalize a lot of communities, but also revitalize a lot of people and create a lot of opportunity for people who didn't feel before. So I just want to thank all of you for your leadership in your communities and for helping us uh, work to accomplish what we have under this presidency. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. Thank you. Right behind you, I see through all of these cameras, we have one of our great stars. Will you please stand up? Coach. Okay. Coach. Reasons, and I don't even know if I've ever shared this with the president, but I supported Donald J. Trump's candidate. 
community from the very beginning was because I knew he would fight for forgotten communities, and I knew that if we had elected Donald Trump as president, we could deliver a generation for black children in poverty. Um, I'm Stacy Washington, and I'm the host of Stacy on the Right. And I've been supporting you from the moment you were the nominee. Sure. And after that, I have been amazed by the absolute way you have you've banished all of your naysayers when it comes.